there was an earlier question from Corey asking about temperatures and why are decent espresso brewing temperatures so much lower than traditional machines. And the reason is, is that a traditional machine is measuring temperature in the boiler and we're measuring temperature two milliliters above, two millimeters above the puck. And in a traditional machine, let's say an E61, the water is leaving the boiler, it's going through a huge quantity of metal and it's losing temperature. Let's say six to eight Celsius being typical with those machines. Now I say typical because if you have an E61 in an Italian bar, they're making a shot, a shot, a shot, a shot. And what's coming out of the group head is probably the boiler temperature because that huge hunk of metal is probably burning hot with the boiler. But if you're at home and you turn on your machine an hour ago and you make one shot with V61, you're probably 15 Celsius under temperature because your um, group head has been only heated through heat coming out of the boiler and not with any water. And so it's way, way down. Uh, this is the main problem with making consistent shots with an E61 is that your temperature accuracy is terrible. E61s are really good in an environment which is making coffee at a very specific pace. And then your group head is staying a certain temperature. And that's why, for example, the E61 group heads never have any insulation on them because they're actually meant to radiate heat. They're not actually meant to stay at heat. So heat comes out, they heat up at the 95 Celsius or whatever it is of the, the water of the boiler, and then they're losing heat. They're bringing it down to a good temperature. Um, machines that have electrically heated group heads um, like ours are going to be much more consistent in giving you a temperature. Um, so that's one. And the other is I showed you earlier the temperature chart. When you say you want, let's say 92 degrees out of our machine, you're saying 92 degrees as measured two millimeters above the puck. So first of all, that's interaction between a room temperature coffee puck and the water. So that's the temperature we're measuring, is that slurry. And secondly, the machine is automatically adjusting the water temperature without you doing anything. So when I say I want 92 Celsius, um, I've cleared the screen, but earlier you could see a thin line and that thin line started two Celsius higher. So when I said I wanted 92, the machine was actually delivering 94 Celsius at that point, which is four degrees Fahrenheit higher. Okay. And then as the puck warmed up, the machine delivered cooler water in order to achieve the slurry temperature we're looking for, because ultimately we do not care about the boiler temperature. Ultimately we care of the temperature at which the coffee is being extracted, the slurry temperature. And there's no other machine that I know of, that has a thermometer probe anywhere near the coffee. So that was part of our R&D is, is getting to that. And then the other thing about the decent is the automatic adjustment of the water temperature. So it's, I forget how many times per second, a lot. Um, uh, the temperature is being adjusted in order to hit that slurry temperature for you automatically. And the reason is like filter coffee, being uh, filter coffee is quite successful because a lot of water goes into a small amount of coffee. And so the temperature of the entire slurry hits equilibrium very quickly. That is what we wanted to do with our machine is hit the goal temperature as fast as possible. With a traditional machine, you just um, do that over the course of the espresso. Mm -hmm.